The third icon of the services icons to the right of the top bar is share. If I park my cursor on that icon, I see five options. Let's address first the save options. Before I do that, I want to actually open up another document so we have multiple documents open in session. And the easiest way to do that is to go to the add icon. And I'm just going to simply select 3D part and it will open up a new 3D part for me, activate it and show creation successful easy warning in the upper right. Click an empty space to get rid of the warning and I'm going to activate the original document with the solid in it. Come back to share and there are two sections to this save selection. The left hand section is the straight save into the collaborative space that's currently configured for me. And that straight save means that if it's a new document that hasn't been saved yet, it will actually save that document and any subordinate documents that haven't been saved into the space. If they have been saved previously, it will only save documents that have been modified. To the right, a structure that indicates with the vertical line on the left side of this that there are menu options below that will actually drop down to subsequent items. So I'm going to left mouse click to select that and I see save with options, save all, and local save. The dot 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 on this menu structure indicates that you're going to drop down to a dialog box. And in the last one, if I select local save, it will automatically select to a previously configured location configured by the administrator. And this save function is part of the save and restore function of the product, such that if you had an abnormal termination of 3D experience, when you restart it, it's going to say, do you want to restore or do you want a new session? If you use the restore function, it will go back to the data that was saved either by this overt action on the operator's part or by an automatic function that's set up by the administrator that on a interaction basis or on a timed basis will save the documents that are in the active session so that the restore will get the operator back as close as possible to the point at which the abnormal termination occurred. Save with options allows me to select different options for the way things are going to be saved. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And in this dialog that it presents, I have the physical product 4684. That's the one that's currently active. I have a plus sign over here that when I park on it, it says this is a new object to be saved. In other words, it hasn't been saved before. And in the comments section, it says this is new data. And oh, by the way, there's new child data. So if I select this line, I see a tool, a magnifier, two magnifiers, one of which has highlighted. When I select it, it is the zoom in and I see that there are actually two documents. Well, those two documents correspond to the physical product and the 3D shape document that you see up here. If I look at this drop down, this is the only difference between the save with options and the save all. In the save all, this drop down will be disabled. But if I drop down, I can see that I can do a selected document, meaning I'll select it on this list. I can do everything in the current editor, or I can address everything in the entire session. So if I were to select session, I get now that second document that's open as part of the selection list, or I can come back to current editor, and I will only be looking at the current document that's currently active in my session. So if I go ahead and expand and contract this, I then do the same thing for session and I will have a one liner for each document that corresponds one for one with the tabs that are available. I'm going to work for the moment in the current editor. So I'm going to select that again and do the magnifier and some tools to the right. Number one, view filter, select that and it gives me more filtering options. 
to the right of that is exclude from the save scope. Well, I'm going to be working on this one, but I'm not going to be working on that one. So I just want to exclude the one that I'm going to continue to work on because it's no sense saving it. If I did exclude it, the next option says, oh, restore this back so that it's going to be saved along with the other ones. The next three are workflow type of options, putting revisions on and modifying the uh, maturity level, etc. I can show an applicability date when it becomes available in the database. And in addition to that, I can do a save that says save as new. In other words, don't save this document on top of itself or with a new revision level, but rather save a new document from this document that is a separate document from the document that I'm saving from. And then the last icon over here says show modification. If I select that now, it says that this physical product has been created. So in other words, every time a change is made, in this case, new creation, this tool will be active and you can select that to see what the modifications were. So I'm going to go ahead and do a save of these documents. I can do selected or I can do current, current editor. If I had selected options selected up here, I could save that one document and not save its subordinate. If I say current editor, it's going to save everything in this open session. Let me select that first one before I do the save to show you that it's going to save both of those. And I say OK in that context, and it will save both documents of this active session. And then I can say I want to really save everything in the entire session. So I want to get I want to grab all the documents. Again, if you don't want to save a particular one, you use the exclude function to facilitate that. So I'm going to say OK. A progression indicator in the lower right, and then a message is shown in the upper right, save successful. That's one of the easy warning messages that you, that you have. After you're, after you're finished reading that, you can just simply click in empty geometry space. Now let me go back to the same function, save with options. And I notice that this icon to the left has changed. If I park on it, it says unchanged object, select the physical product and zoom in. And I've got unchanged object because both of these were just now saved. Let me make a change to them. I'm going to change the name or the part number. Right click on the object, go to properties, left mouse select, and the title is the actual changing of that property of the document. I'm going to call it simple product. Say OK. Notice that it puts a revision number not only on the product but to the subordinate items. I'm going to change this name also. Right click properties, left select, and simple shape. Say OK. And notice that even though I did not allow it to remain and I didn't type over it, it says simple shape A1 as the revision level. Now if I go back to my save with options, I see yet another indicator. And when I park on it, it says modified object to be saved. And in the comment field, I see the same thing. Expand this to see the other one. Both of them have been modified and they're going to be saved. So when I say OK now, it's going to do that operation due to the fact that there's been a modification to it. Let me cancel that. I can also do, by the way, a save now because I've already put it there, but it has been modified. So it's not a new document any longer, and it's not a document that hasn't been modified. So it will automatically save anything that's savable, a new document, or a document that's been modified. And let me go, just to show you the dialogue difference, go to Save All. And when I do Save All, I get not only the document that's active, but I also get the document that is not active. It's going to save all the documents that have tab entries. And let me expand these so I can see that this other document is a new document, and this other document, or the first document, is a document that has been saved already, 
and has been modified so it's going to be saved and that also again is shown in the comment section.